Hi everyone and welcome back, I'm Snookus and this is another episode in our This is Persia campaign and right now we are arming up to um, attack Georgia here and we're trying to get Uzbek on our good side actually they already are so let's ally them when we still have the chance to do so hopefully this uh, is just April so don't mind me okay so let's ally them and now we got somewhat of a guarantee here or um, insurance that uh, if the Timurids attack we will at least have some power on our side. We will also royal marry them when we can just to uh, pretty much solidify this alliance. I don't ever see us attacking Uzbek, not in a good long while anyway. Uh, let's do the same with our vassal here just to make sure that they're loyal. Loyal. And yeah. Okay, they're still negative, but that was to be expected. Is there anything we can do here? They have some treasury. You can place a relative on the throne. Um, I don't see why not. We can pay off their debt. debt. We won't do that. Um, anything else? We want them on the defensive, maybe? Or simply supportive, that might be the most useful to make sure that they follow us into the defensive position in the mountains and that what, that's what we want them to do anyway. They have some manpower, not a great amount, but it's something. Um, force limit wise, we got, get one extra from Shervan, so that's something. We're still within our force limit, so that's also very nice. Actually, attacking Theodoro might be a, a key here in getting... Uh, attacking Trebizond might be a key here to getting Theodoro and by doing that, locking up Crimea here. Actually, we can ally Crimea. And even though they aren't a great force to be reckoned with, they might actually be contributory in a future war. Let's see here. Crimea... Should do it this way, shouldn't I? Crimea River. 11,000. Um, it's not huge, and they would have a hard time getting through here, but we could probably secure a um, open border deal with Golden Horde, or a military access deal. I mean, too much Siva on my mind. Um, so that, so they could actually help us. I think this might be useful. Let's see here. We have two slots free so if we do this we can still get Ottomans and we can still get another vassal not both but either one of them those alternatives and yep let's do this as well okay so now we have a Canum uh, which I believe is a queen or some sort she is fertile you know what I'm gonna do this or should I do that who Ottomans? Is there any chance that we actually might get allied? Okay, I'm gonna hold off on uh, disinheriting our heir for a while uh, until we either know for sure whether the Ottomans could ally us or not. There's still somewhat of a chance there, and we don't want to ruin it with uh, any prestige loss. Okay, so now we have the ability to claim a fabricated claim here on Georgia. So let's take Carly. Cardi, even. Uh, hi, Cardi. And yeah, I don't really see any reason to attack right away. They're not allied with anyone. They are guaranteeing Trebizond and Nicasia, though. Um, well, that's, that's not something we should worry about. Um, Timurids are in a bit of a, of a, of a situation here. Um, could we... No, we can't. I would kind of like um, the optimist as I am and to capitalize on this situation and try to get Uzbek and, uh, well, our little Crimea, fri Crimea friend here to pick apart the Timurids now that they actually have some revolts going. Um, the, the other funny thing is if, the, if Persia actually managed to break out of Timurids, we would have to... Um, kill Timur uh, the Persians to actually create a country ourselves. But anyway, let's uh, go with this war here. Let's stop ranting about 
unimportant stuff. We will gain superiority by doing this, which is nice because we want to convert the stuff that we have as soon as possible. Oh, right, we had the Tribal Conquest already. Well, we gain more prestige by doing this, and we are also gonna... You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I actually thought Tribal Conquest was all, all the way... Only between other tribes, but I suppose I was wrong there. Okay, let's go. Um, this is mountains, unfortunately. Uh, not much we can do about that, though. So let's siege, um, charge him with everyone we got. Show me what you got. And as soon as we picked apart that army, which went really quickly, we're gonna move out with our larger army to not suffer too much attrition here. Split up a bit and try to take... Actually, let's uh, leave that to our vassal. Or actually, let's not, because we want the, um, the loot that we can gain from doing this. Because looting, even though it isn't a huge mechanic for most um, nations in the game, is actually kinda not important, but it's uh, a buff or um, a bonus for the tribes with the hordes. So uh, let's do that. Gain some extra cash for a few moments. So, uh, no matter how we do this, we're gonna take Cardi and maybe vassalize the rest of Georgia. We'll see. And after that, if we attack, which we will, when we attack Gasimuk, Gas, Gasikumuk, um, Holy shit. Uh, we will probably feed at least some provinces to our vessels so that we don't have to deal with our extension and the revolt risk. You are at war with Oirat and Mongolia and you seem to be... No, that's just um, rebels. You actually seem to be winning somewhat. Oirat, Mongolia. Yeah, you should, you should win that. Uh, Crimea won't be dismembered by uh, all of their neighbors since they are our ally now and uh, most other nations are afraid of us which is fortunate because our neighbors are not afraid of us I really want to kill Timurids how many troops though does no guy have no guy no guy have 4000 so not even close to be in any help for us at all. They're, they're pretty much just a blown up um, vessel. Okay, anyway. It pains me to see the FPS, FPS uh, drop down to 30 every time, every month, because uh, the game uh, saves. But um, it's what it's what have to be done, I suppose. So let's just wipe out the rest of the Georgian army here. They're fleeing. They will be gone on the 19th. We will get there on the 28th. So no, no reason uh, trying to capture them. Now they're trying to get peace here. Okay, we forgot the last, uh, the last province. No worries. Here they go. Should I have more troops here, but we will win handily anyway because they came from the sea they came from the sea and we are losing money by the handful and I just remembered this is um, put in to automatically rise when in when at war okay anyway the war is over so let's take all their money let's war up not really necessary we can't actually Vassalize them. Okay, so let's uh, pick them apart instead. War reps, good for us. Oh, offer tribute. I'm, I'm an idiot. Uh, we can actually vassalize them. That's my bad. Um, okay, I remember what I said about taking Cardi, but we don't actually, we can't actually afford that right now. So should we just take this place and 
at least gain something. Yeah, I think so. And then we can instead uh, annex Sherwan as soon as possible. Yeah, okay, let's do it that way instead. We desperately need to bolster our forces uh, for the coming war with uh, Timurids, with the Timurids. And now I think Akunulu is up here, our next target. Huge Librid Sire. Well, let's um, fix that, let's improve relations with them. Okay, we're actually possible, pos positive with uh, Ottomans now, so let's see if we can placate them enough to ally us. I don't, I don't actually see that being a possibility, so let's, let's not do that. And this means we have filled up all of our relation slots, and that which is, uh, which is great, I think. Should improve relations with these guys just to make sure that they stay in the alliance. 1456, which is in seven years, we can annex Sherwin. So that's a while away. Can we. Do you have any claims? No, do you. Just on us. Okay. Is there any other CB we can use here? It isn't. Although this is one C tile, so we can actually claim this, I believe. Uh, but let's do this first. Or let's let's build up the spy network just uh, in preparation to the future claim there. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's um, equalize these armies a bit. So that no one of them take too much attrition. Okay, we, we can't take natural arrest. We just we can't do it. <laughs> okay, so Carmilla will be mad with us, but we will and we will get a worse consort and we will lose some prestige. I suppose that's just the way of the game. <laughs> this is very Clever of them, we can't decide what we have pending events. Oh well, alright. Um, alright, fuck it. Oh cool, so Ganya... Which actually isn't a prob problem province, but still uh, gets... Decrease on rest, so that's something. Didn't didn't it say that the new cannon was a one, two, three something? Whatever. Um, okay, so now we can disinherit our heir and uh, not have to worry about our prestige. Let's do that, and we should probably change mission as well if we're gonna be at negative thirty nine prestige. Um, we don't have a new heir. We will probably, hopefully, do soon. Okay, that's awful as well. Our whole royal family is a real clusterfuck. Um, Georgia, hopefully, you will uh, join our rank soon here. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead with this right away. There's no reason. I see no reason to wait. We will take these two provinces, not touch that, touch that one. We don't want to have a border against the Ottomans. Not yet, anyway. No reason to antagonize them uh, earlier than reasonable. Okay, so we want these two, so let's take... Hey, Raqqa, that's actually ISIS territory right now. Although I believe they just lost it. Anyway, that's uh, far too contemporary. Um, Diyar Diyar Bekir. Yep, let's go for that. That sounds fine. Everyone just pile in, and then you will, well, well, we'll think of that when we get to it. And they are dead, cool. Now we want some 
like that. Minimize the amount of attrition. And there we go. And we will also get a bunch of gold out of this. Okay, so we, can, we could try to uh, convert some places now, but I don't think it's any use really. Um, it will take so so much so much time and um, it will just bolster their revolt risk so it's not it's not really worth it I believe not yet anyway Coptic hey would you look at that there are some uh, Coptic areas here I guess that's the reason they are revolting so much they are so revolting um, okay, the Karakunulus. No, the Timurids have. We are the Karakunulus. Karakunulus um, have some issues with the Timurid tribes. Great, I say. Hey. Okay, so we have a newborn daughter, which we can declare a new heir, which is a nice new feature, by the way, with the rights of man DLC, and we would lose some piety. And but we would gain horde unity, of course, that's full, so that wouldn't be an issue anyway. And and well, she is a really good heir. A 3 4 5, it's, it's great, especially on the focus on 5 military there. Um, but she would be a average claim, and she would be a woman, which I believe would gain give us some negative um, debuffs there. Is there, other, is there any other kind of debuff? Anyway, uh, let's, you know, let's do it. I don't wanna... Fatima. Nice name. Always thought that was a nice name. I don't wanna fall under a royal marriage. I don't know. I, I don't wanna fall into a personal union. <laughs> I really don't want an admiral. I mean, for what reason would I want an admiral? Hey, would you look at that? We, also, we have a really good uh, general. Nice. I mean, we our our navy is five boats, four galleys, and a trade trade um, merchant. I mean, rival, rival, Venice. I don't think Venice would be up to. Okay, sure. Some diplomatic power and some prestige. We. Desperately needs prestige, so yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Um, I was gonna wait a month, wait a month, so we build up this spy network enough. Now we can declare the peace here. Let's take those two. Let's take all their money. And then some war reps, force religion, sure. That would be nice in the future. Okay, sounds great. Cool. That's, um, that's a nice war. A fast, uh, very quick, a very efficient war there. Um, okay, so let's walk over here uh, and prepare for... Who are you allied with? Ramasan and Shamar. Who are they? Ramasan. Okay, so cool. The Armans won't attack them. And Shamar. Okay, there. We probably should try to expand this way. Hedjas is somewhat big, but not big enough to be a threat to us. So actually, let's divert our forces down here instead. And um, try to expand that way. And then we will take these guys later on. Now we can favorite the claim on um, Tarki. Sure, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to take them anyway. We're going to let our vassal do it. Um, Georgia is still um, disloyal here. But with all the debuffs here ticking down we're gonna have them in our good uh, on our good side soon again yeah okay um right we are forged up again it's unfortunate that i have to do this but i don't want to risk forgetting to turn the forge on if timurids attack 
or any other large nation. Na na nation. Okay, uh, anyway, this is the end of this episode. And um, for next time, we're gonna attack Hasa here and any allies of them, so Hedjas as well. Uh, Vassalizing Hedjas would be nice. Anyway, um, so yeah, I um, thank you for watching this video and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Please leave a like if you would like to do that and uh, whatever. See you next time. Bye.